Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 Elon Musk, I mean musky fragrances. I know, my sense of humor is pretty cheesy and pretty lame. So I know, I know, my, my humor ranges, it has a whole range. It's got dirty dad jokes, to sarcasm, to cheese, to stuff that I can't even put on camera because it's just so morbid. But I think that a guy named Rudy from A Time to Musk Up is going to watch this one, so shout out to him. With this list here, I want it to be as unique as possible. When I do these videos, I try to be as original. You know, I'm not, not jabbing at anybody, but I want to give you guys something that doesn't get a lot of talk about. So there's going to be some niche, there's going to be some designer exclusives, and there's going to be some cheapies in this list. So let's just start it off with number one. Definitely shouts Musk without question. It's from a brand that I plugged a lot. No, no, it is not Ferrari. That is Bond. Bond number nine is New York Musk. This stuff is bananas. This stuff is green and definitely musky. It's got green lily, osmanthus, black currant, sandalwood, vetiver, and definitely musk. It's a green, musky, woody fragrance. There is a little bit of that black currant in the opening, but it doesn't last all that long. There is a little bit of that osmanthus that, that does give it that green feel along with the green lily but it's pretty much like a musky woody scent. This is considered a unisex fragrance. Um, I can't picture a woman wearing this. So for a unisex scent, it actually dives more towards the guys for a change because Bond, like their unisex fragrances, dive more towards the ladies. So for us, win. This is a great fall and spring fragrance. I would say it's pretty versatile, you know, dressing it down, sense of style to a to a suit and tie. Not a tuxedo, but a suit and tie. If you want a daring fragrance from Bond number nine, this is definitely it. I find that, and I, this is coming from the unpaid Bond bitch, you know, I'm an unpaid shill for the brand. This is very different, very daring, as a lot of their fragrances, I would say, are mass appealing. Easy to wear, especially for a woman. I love the brand, some of the fragrances are just too feminine for me, even their unisex scent, but this is definitely leans a lot more towards the dudes out there, and longevity is solid, ranges anywhere from seven to nine hours. Fragrance number two, I plug this brand mercifully. You no, know, guys, no, it is not Ferrari. You have to stop. Can you stop labeling me as the Ferrari guy only? I've plugged other brands out there, okay? I used to be a big Canali and Kenneth Cole guy. I've also plugged Zegna, but I've also plugged Ferragamo. Fragrance number two is gonna be Ferragamo Atomo Black Musk. Unfortunately, with this one here, I no longer have the bottle. I did when I reviewed it so many years ago but I gifted it to either Steven or Carlos. This fragrance is a very warm and musky scent, like a warm, spicy scent. So it's got like cardamom, nutmeg, pimento, it's got sandalwood and musk. Classy, mature, gentlemanly, that is perfect for the fall all the way to a colder spring day. You could rock this in the wintertime, no problem. This is a gentleman's type of scent. So if you're, if you're wearing it, you gotta be on your A game. I think that this would go very well with a suit and tie all the way to like a dressy, casual kind of fashion. Like khakis and a nice button up, that would, it'll definitely go very well with that, but more, but add a sports coat and mwah, longevity, I can't remember. So I'm guessing it ranges anywhere from five to seven hours though. Fragrance number three is definitely cheapy, and that's gonna be Mercedes Benz Man Gray. This smells like a dad. I ended up filming a video this morning, six fragrances that scream dad. This definitely does. This has Oli Bantam pink pepper. It's got musk without question. It's got woods, but also amberwood. This just smells like what an older father would smell like. Not someone who's like 30 years old, but you know, late 30s with a little bit of life experience. That's what this kind of like smells like. It's versatile, dressing it down to dressing it up. It's signature scent worthy. It's quite affordable. So if you're a father figure out there who doesn't want to break the bank, it's a great scent for you. You know, it's a prime fall and spring scent, colder spring days. Not when it's like May and it's like, like 15, 16 degrees Celsius. So like high 60s Fahrenheit. No, 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 no. All right, like when it's a colder spring day, yes. And longevity off this is solid. It ranges anywhere from six to eight hours. Fragrance number four, 
just been forgotten. This entire line has been forgotten. Hugo Boss Wool and Musk, or Wool Musk, from the collection line. This line was actually launched in 2011, and at one time it was going for like over $200 Canadian. It's available right now on perfumeonline.ca, but also fragrance.net. This is a basic bitch scent, and before you get offended by that, what I mean by that is that it only has three notes, okay? Cinnamon, musk, and woods, or sandalwood. This is mature, it is classy. There is a little bit of a powdery undertone to it, and for a fragrance that is unisex, it is very much like this one here. It dives way more towards the guys out there. I can't picture a woman wanting to smell musky. I just don't. You know, so it's warm, a little powdery, musky, and woody. Longevity of this is about seven to eight hours. Almost forgot the state, this is fall and winter. Very versatile, dressing it down to dressing it up, and this is more so for a more mature person. So when I mean mature, yeah, attitude, mentality, but more so age this time around. Fragrance number five, let's go back to a cheapy brand, and this is more of a spring and summer scent, but that's going to be Original Penguin, Original Blend. This in here has apple, lime, lavender, suede, musk, but also nutmeg. It's a little bit powdery in the dry down, definitely musky. You're going to get that apple, and you're definitely going to get the lime. It's a casual fragrance. If you want to wear it to work, sure. But for me, this is just kicking it on a patio with a Corona, a beer, some wings, and just relaxing. Yeah, you could wear it to school as well. Just very casual, white t-shirt and jeans, nothing dressy. If you want to wear it dressy, by all means, but it just has that casual laid back vibe. And longevity of this is not bad. Ranges anywhere from five to seven hours. Fragrance number six, this one just never gets any mention in Fragum unless you're Ashton from Jensen's. Bentley's Exotic Musk. This one had to make the name just because of the name itself. Musk, Musk is in it. This has iris. It also has woods, amber wood for sure. So iris, the iris is powdery. It's ambery, it's woody. Vanillic, vanilla. But I also get like a plum accord. Plum is not listed as a note on fragrance. Like frag fragrance has only like two notes on like, I, I don't even know where I got the note breakdown, probably from Parfumo, but it's like a vanillic, plum, ambery, musky, irisy scent. Like powdery, a powdery iris and musk to it. This is unisex that dives a little bit more towards the guys this time. And this is not for like your traditional alpha guy. Like this itself is like your traditional alpha kind of guy, like your traditional man's man. This is for like your modern day gentleman who likes to wear suits and ties, who likes to look fashionable, well polished, well groomed, well mannered, has that, who's a little sophisticated, who, who's kind of like artsy fartsy, who's nerdy. That's, you know, this smells classy. This is, this is a great scent that just, does need to be talked about a little bit more and i understand why it may not get all that much that much limelight is because it's from like bentley's like exclusive or private line you can get this for about 120 dollars canadian convert that with our shitty dollar right now that's probably like 90 dollars usd off fragrance buy i think they sell it on fragrance net but it's more than like 120. this is a great spring and fall scent longevity no slouch eight to ten hours Fragrance number seven, I have plugged this brand mercifully. Yes, it's Ferrari Essence Musk. This stuff is still available. It's, it's being phased out, but this is a clean musk that is perfect for the spring and summertime. It's got musk, of course, a clean musk, a clean white musk. I think white musk is listed as a note. Whatever the hell that is, but it also has watermelon, which is there, sea notes, mint, Lavender and cedar. It's a musky, a little fruity, aquatic scent with a little bit of woods and definitely the musk itself. This is casual. It's fresh, it's aromatic, and it's just casual. Yeah, you can wear it with a suit and tie to work, but for me, this is a white t-shirt and jeans relaxing scent. Longevity, not bad, but not great. Four to six hours. Generally, it's four to five. Fergus number eight, I have plugged this brand mercifully in the last two years because I'm an unpaid shill for the brand of Bond. Bond bitch, baby. Bond number nine's West Broadway. 
This fragrance never, and I mean never gets any mention because I understand. I'm an unpaid shill, so I can say whatever I want. Actually, no, I can't say whatever I want because the owner just might censor me and might, you know, might get my channel deleted like she did with somebody else. But bond number nine produces fragrances like I produce content. We just put it out like crack. This came out in 2003. It's part of their original releases. And this is a basic bitch scent with only three notes. Musk, lime, lily of the valley. So definitely musky and it's a powdery musk. You're gonna get that bright citrusy lime and you're gonna get a little bit of that lily of the valley to add a bit of a floral touch. This leans more towards the ladies this time around but I do like to wear it. It just kind of smells like an older woman. I gotta state it, Rush even stated that as well on camera when we did the video with Tunes reviews. It leans a little bit more towards an older lady. Some say that I'm a bit of a bitch, so fine. And this is a great everyday casual scent. It's a great work scent. It's a great weekend fragrance. It's not overly formal, but I do think that you can wear it with a suit and tie to work. But you have to have that sense of fashion in order to pull it off. This is a great spring scent. Maybe fall, but I would say more spring than anything. And longevity is about seven to eight hours. Fragrance number nine is gonna be Cartier Larvol EDP, Eau de Parfum. This has iris, honey, oh boy, the honey front and center, silky, smooth, and sweet. The iris does add that powdery touch. Muskiness has got some artemisia, some amberwood, cedar, vetiver, and so on. It's a sweet, honey, powdery iris, musky, woody fragrance. I would say that this will do very well in the colder spring days, but also the fall, and you might be able to get away with this in the winter time. I do find that this is a unisex scent. Now, I don't know if it's marketed towards the ladies out there, but definitely I can see this being a unisex fragrance. And this is for your modern day gentlemen out there. So again, well polished, well groomed, well mannered, well dressed. If you like fashion, this is a fragrance that you might like. The first quality on this is not the best. I find that with a woman, I think that it would be a decent office fragrance because of the sweetness. I, I find that with a lot of guys, we associate women's perfumery with like sweet and florals. This is sweet, it's not floral, but it is sweet. For the guys, I do think it's more of a night out scent. You know, uh, a, a lounge, a date, a dinner, like a nice dinner. Can be casual, definitely not a club. This is like too classy for the club, okay? But if you wanna wear it to work, by all means, just make sure that you're wearing a suit and tie. Longevity of this is about seven to eight hours. Fragrance number 10 is gonna be Greed, I mean Creed, but let's be honest. At this point, Creed is all about the Greed. And I like Creed, but the price tags are just insane but that's gonna be Creed's Himalaya. This has citruses, sandalwood, musk, and ambergris. It really does have that musky feel, but also, like the name itself, Himalaya. It just has that mountainous vibe. But this really does smell like the Rocky Mountains. I've been to Jasper, I've been to Banff, but I've also been to Vancouver. I haven't been to, Van haven't been to Vancouver in five long years, so I'm definitely overdue for a trip, but this does smell like the Rocky Mountains. When I'm on the grouse grind, when I'm at the top of that mountain, or even when I'm hiking out in Squamish, the chief, this smells like the mountains. It's a scent memory. This is more for a an older man. It smells a little bit more mature, really. It's a great spring scent that I do think that you can wear it on a cooler summer day, but also fall, like transition from summer to fall. But when it is stifling hot, this might be a little bit too much out there. Even though that it has like ambergris and citruses, the musk in this might be a little bit too much, but dressing it down, dressing it up, suit and tie, nothing overly formal, but like suit and tie to work to like maybe like a daytime semi-formal event as a guest, not as the, the host itself. But scent number 10 is gonna be Creed's Himalaya. And guys, that's it. I just gave you 10 great musky fragrances for 2022. Hopefully with this list, it was very different out there and I really want to stand out. Like I try to give you guys something very different. Some of these fragrances were predictable, while some of these were, I'm sure, very different. I know that Cartier and Creed has made other videos out there, but I know that these two and these two definitely haven't. And because I gave him a shout out, if you want to check out Rudy's channel, Time to Musk Up, his channel link will be down in the description box below. If you want to see other themed videos out there, check out this side here. I am drawing a blank because I am in need of a break. I've been recording all morning long for the last 
two hours and boy oh boy I am done for the day so if you like this very video leave me one of these thank you for the time take care and I will see you later thanks for watching everybody